what could be a big breakthrough in fighting the coronavirus going forward. The MTA, along with scientists from Columbia University, discovering for the first time that the ultraviolet technology the MTA is using to sanitize the subway every night is actually killing the virus. UV has long been thought to be effective, but it's not been proven until now, apparently. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Tim Fleischer. A new advancement, the latest innovation in disinfecting technology, is taking on the new COVID-19 virus in the hopes of killing it on MTA subway cars and buses. The MTA is launching the first ever UV pilot proven to kill COVID-19. That's big news. Through a pilot program announced today by MTA officials, the Transportation Authority is teaming with Columbia University's Center for Radiological Research, utilizing new ultraviolet C technology to sanitize subway cars and buses for essential workers. The UV light that's going to be used in, in the current uh, uh, overnight subway and bus disinfection uh, um, program is very efficient at killing the SARS-CoV-2 virus, the virus that's responsible for COVID-19. UV is a proven and effective technology, and it is 100% safe to humans after it is applied. Up to now, all subway trains have stopped running between 1 and 5 a.m. so that crews can come in and enhance cleaning 3,500 cars using more traditional disinfecting cleaners. We're also experimenting with the use of electrostatic sprayers and antimicrobials, which kill bacteria and viruses. Over the next several weeks in phase one of the pilot program, 230 UV lamps will be deployed at subway stations and yards and to fix locations for the cleaning of buses. In phase two, the UV lamps will be used to clean trains on both the Long Island and Metro North Railroads. This has never been done, uh, as far as I know, in the scale that we, we plan on doing it, with, with the knowledge that it kills uh, uh, COVID-19. MTA officials will monitor the results of the pilot in the hopes of expanding the UVC use throughout the system.